Next, we'd like to talk about how to set up the software for sending emails and SMS messages to your customers. You may have noticed that in the customer menu, mailing lists, there are two buttons, email to list and SMS to list. So when you compile a mailing list from your customer data, and if you want to send emails or SMS messages to this list for your marketing purposes, those are the two buttons that you would use for that purpose. But in order to make these buttons functional, to make the software capable of sending emails and SMS messages, you need to go to setup, email and SMS setup. In here, this setup screen is asking you for the credentials of your email service so that it can uh, send emails in your name from your email address so that the from field has your email in it, just as if you wrote the emails uh, that this software will send. Now, if you don't feel comfortable giving our software your email credentials, you should know that you don't have to use our existing your existing email for this purpose, but you can create a new one just for this purpose and that will not cost you anything because this feature as you can see works with both Yahoo and Gmail which are the two most used email servers uh, worldwide and they are free so obtaining an email address with them is absolutely free now the setup is pretty self-explanatory and simple first you need to enter your email address which will probably be something like your name at yahoo.com if the domain of your yahoo service is not exactly yahoo.com you can select a different one from this drop down menu in here we have all the yahoo servers domains like at&t bell south uh, frontier whatever you know uh, so once you take care of your email address then you go on to the server address it's gonna be pre-filled for you uh, right here so this is the Yahoo server server address right but if you need to override that for whatever reason you can just go ahead and uh, write over that the port is also pre-filled for you 587 is the default and recommended port that's for both Yahoo and Gmail and uh, if you need to override it for whatever reason you can go ahead and override it now your username uh, that will probably be uh, your um, your email address actually let's say it's something like your name at yahoo.com and then your password would be whatever password uh, you use to sign into your account now uh, again it should be pointed out that uh, if, if you don't feel comfortable giving your email credentials to our software uh, please remember that you don't have to use uh, your existing email for this purpose, but you can create a new one just for this purpose and that will not cost you anything as Yahoo and Gmail addresses are absolutely free. Now, if we're going to uh, set up the Gmail uh, account, right? It's all the same in these fields, meaning you enter your, your email address, here are the domains for the Gmail or Google server, uh, your uh, server address is going to be pre-filled for you, but you can overwrite it if you need to. Port also. Uh, username and password is the same concept. Uh, your username is basically going to be your uh, your email address and then the password, whatever you use to sign into Google, right? But uh, with one exception, if you're setting up Gmail, there's an additional step, as it's written in here. An additional step is required to set up your Google account to link uh, to our software. Click here for instructions. And once you click in here, these instructions open up, which help you set your Google account for linking with our software. Is actually one option that needs to be checked in your Google account to make this work. And it also gives you a link in here that will take you right to that option in Google in your account. This is the link right here. So it makes your job easier. It will take you right there. And uh, you can set that option and you will have a successful uh, link uh, between your Gmail account and our software. Now, again, it's worth noting that uh, with uh, the Yahoo setup, there are no additional steps and nothing needs to be set up in the Yahoo account in order to make this work. Now, uh, after you set all of these in here, you can go on and uh, send a test email and send a test SMS message. But before you do that, uh, just so you don't get confused, in uh, the testing process in there um, 
uh, what may be confusing so far to you, what may sound confusing or counterintuitive as to why we are asking for email credentials to enable the sending of not only email but also SMS messages. Uh, you know, the answer to that is that our software and many other software like ours that want to keep the sending of SMS messages free to their customers send SMS messages through email actually by writing an email to a specially designated email address for that special purpose to the designated cell phone operator or service provider of your customer like you know if your customer has AT&T our software needs to write AT&T an email the server for AT&T if your customer has T-Mobile our software needs to uh, write a T uh, an email to the T-Mobile service and that is how SMS messages are sent from programs like ours or websites for absolutely free of charge and any other method would involve a cost to you per message and that cost can add up extremely high if you pay the usual 10 to 15 cents per message and you are a well established business with a few thousand customers in your database. So we try to keep this service absolutely free for you and this is the only way to send SMS messages for free by sending email messages to the cell phone service provider providers with the required info so their server computer knows exactly to which one of their customers to send the SMS message to and what contents should be in that message so it all goes flawlessly within a few seconds and the whole process is fully automated so now since our software needs to know who uh, the service provider is so it knows who to send the email to that will mean that one extra uh, step for you to do is to actually tell our software for each one of your customers who their service provider is or the domain that they need to write the email to right like if they have Sprint, AT&T, whatever they have, T-Mobile so there's an extra step for you to do when you enter you know your customer data in here um, you would of course enter the customer cell phone in here right right and then the extra step is to enter the carrier the carrier SMS domain as we call it in here right here from this drop down menu right now uh, of course that may sound like too much to ask but keep in mind we help uh, we help you with this as well if you don't want to ask your customers simply who their cell phone provider is you can just use the link that we have for you in here the one that says free carrier lookup if you click on this link and I'm gonna go ahead and click it right now just to show you what uh, it comes up with it will take you to a website with this tool that when you enter the phone number right here your customers phone number you click search it will come up with uh, it will search a database for uh, cell phone numbers and providers and it will tell you this information it will tell you who the provider is what their SMS domain uh, email is and all of that so here we are, we've performed one such search. We're just masking out uh, the phone number in here for privacy uh, concerns. And it turns out that the phone number that we entered uh, is looked up and the result is the carrier is Sprint. Uh, is it wireless? Yes. And here's the information you need. SMS gateway address, as they call it. Uh, this is what you need right here. This, third part, uh, this is really the email. That, you know, a software needs to write to in order to send SMS message. The first part, you don't need that's going to be the customer's phone number. And then at messaging.sprintpcs.com makes sense because this is a Sprint customer. So this is what you need at messaging.sprintpcs.com. That's the SMS domain. Going back to our software in here, you would select at messaging.sprintpcs.com. And that's what you need these two pieces of information a cell phone number and a carrier SMS domain. In to, to be saved in customer uh, database so that you can send this customer an SMS message. Now going back to our setup screen here I would just like to say also that once you send a test email in here once you send a test SMS message if you're happy with the results if everything works out great you can click save in order for these settings to be saved. And that's how you set up our software for sending SMS messages and emails to your customers.